Hello, welcome to Conrad's Corner. Who are we speaking with? Hi, Conrad. This is Comedy Cormier, Sonia's cousin. Hi, Comedy. How are you? Good, thank you. I just wanted to first and foremost give a shout out to my little sister, Sonia, and tell her that we're thinking about her. Um, we think about her every day, and um, we are working as hard as we can to find her a match. Um, and I just want to make a plea out there to everyone to please get educated on the bone marrow donation process. I know that there are many people out there, just like myself, um, in past years who may have been a little nervous or scared about the process and getting registered because we just didn't know what it was about. But I think if everybody just took five minutes to learn how simple the donation process can be for what a big life impact you can make to somebody, people wouldn't even think twice about getting registered. Thank you so much for the call, Comedy. I'm sure Sonia really appreciates your good wishes. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. That's interesting uh, that Comedy brought up the, uh, the misconceptions of a bone marrow transplant and also just simply signing up. A lot of folks are afraid of that for some odd reason. Elizabeth, this is your alley right here. How easy is it to sign up? It's really simple, actually. It takes about 20 minutes of your life um, in terms of just filling out a very... Uh, simple health questionnaire and then taking uh, cheek swabs and yeah, swabbing the inside of your cheek. There's right. no taking of blood. There's no removing of your bone marrow right on site. I think that a lot of people think, first of all, when we approach them about joining the registry, that they're going to actually donate there on the spot. And that is a big myth. That is definitely false. Um, and it'd be very difficult to do <laughs> as well. It would, yes, we wouldn't have the time um, and we, we would need to, yeah. It just wouldn't work. Um, anyway, so that's one of the misconceptions right off the bat is that you are donating there. Um, the second misconception is that um, if you are donating you know, at a hospital, that it's an extremely painful process that's dangerous to the donor. And both of those thoughts are also false. They're myths. Um, for one thing, uh, one of the most common, there's two methods of um, removing stem cells from a donor. And the most common uh, method and actually requiring uh, or give, uh, having very little pain for the donor is through uh, the PBSC method, which stands for the um, peripheral blood stem cell method. So it's essentially a process very much like donating blood. So if you're able to donate blood, or if you're able to stand the process of donating blood, then you're, you're going to be able to stand the process of donating your stem cells. Um, it takes about five hours of your time and and I, I have done it personally, and I'm telling you, and I've told you before many times, it was the smartest decision I've ever made in my life um, and absolutely the most rewarding. Um, and that's the key, though. A lot of folks will speak out of theory, like donating blood, donating bone marrow. Yeah, you know, I've read the books. Trust me, it's not going to hurt. Well, have you done it? No. Exactly. <laughs> but you have. Exactly. And you've been very successful, too. And when I tell people that I have, the first thing everybody says to me is, oh, I hear that's so painful. And again, that's what you hear. You don't know. And I always, always have to uh, correct them. And I'm, I'm really happy to correct them. And I understand that's something that we need to do as part of educating the public about the need for more racial, ethnic minorities to join the registry, but also just to understand that this is not a painful process. This is, um, you know, minor discomfort for, you know, um, to ultimately save a person's life and give a family back their loved one. Um, another thing I want to point out is that there are no long-term um, uh, negative side effects for the donor as well. It's very, of course, people need to consider their health and what um, the consequences will be. But again, speaking from my own experience and, and from what I have learned about past donors, um, if anything, we get healthier. There is no, we are not more likely to get cancer ourselves. Um, we do not pay for these procedures. It does not affect our health insurance. I mean, that's a real, really great question to ask, and you know, only a responsible person would would need to ask these things. Um, but again, there are. I mean, the real the real side effects is that you know you are potentially saving someone and giving somebody and their families hope. So I see um, absolutely not one, uh, not one drawback, not one negative consequence of donating. And so it's um, something that I'm incredibly, incredibly passionate about. And I want to urge every single USC student to go and register. I don't see one reason why why they shouldn't. Yeah, and class is not an excuse. And the, the key is, is this is not just a drive for Sonia, and this is not just a drive for all South Asians either. This is a drive for everyone. You can sign up. And it doesn't, I mean, everyone around the world, you don't know who you actually might save. 
And that's the thing. I mean, we can talk about statistics all day long. I remember there was someone telling me that uh, Sonia's chances were at one time one in 20,000 actually find a match. But like you said, Elizabeth, and keep on saying, which is absolutely crucial and vital, it only takes one. That one in 20,000, you know, ignore the 20,000, to be honest with you. It only takes one. That one person can appear out of the deep blue sea, or and, and you did for Dr. Rhonda Christensen, who was a 46-year-old woman who was a wife, who was a, a mother and also a daughter, and you saved her life, and it can happen to Sonia, too, as we have another caller. One more time, caller. It does this all the time, and actually, anyway, so... (laughs) Rhonda and I have done two bone marrow uh, registration drives in the last two years, and we now know that there's actually been two matches identified because of drives here at USC. And you've been been connected, including yourself, to three matches, and that's a fact. That, yeah, that is a fact, yes. and um, that's part of the reason I feel like extreme, uh, that's part of the reason, no, the fact that we have such a high number of um, South Asian students that are willing to, to again, to help uh, fellow Trojans in need. We really are w- one family, as, as Will said earlier. Um, I, I, I'm very confident that we're going to, we're going to not only give hope to Sonia, but we're going we're gonna to find someone to help her. So Elizabeth is confident that means it will happen no matter what, I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and just just like uh, Elizabeth said, it's, it's one of those things where, you wake up one day and, and you don't think this could happen to me. Um, that's what I had been seeing for the last 10 years. I've been helping bone marrow drives for the last 10 years and I've been passive about it. I, I honestly let my promotion company, let these people come to, let, let the organizers and, and volunteers come to our events. And I kind of said, hey, here's some space, have some fun, do what you guys need to do. And I never really thought at that point in time over the last 10 years that it would be one of my best friend's sisters or one of, someone who I consider a sister. And so the, the thing I would say to all of you guys is, it could be your sister, it could be your mother, it could be your daughter, it could be your your friend. And uh, the faster that you put yourself and show and lead by example, the more likely you are to help other people out there. Raul, we've got a caller. Welcome to Conrad's Corner. Hello, this is Shalini, Sonia's cousin. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I just wanted to give Sonia all my love. Um, we are confident that we are going to find her a match and she's going to get better real soon so just wanted to give her lots of hugs and kisses and let her know that we are thinking about her and we're going to get her back to her full health um, very soon and I just want to thank everyone out there who is helping it's been amazing to see the support that's come out from friends families and strangers so just ask everyone to keep on helping and and help Sonia get back on her feet again so hugs and kisses Thank you for your outstanding regards. I'm sure Sonia appreciates them. And have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. All right. Take care. Bye. Ah, There we go. Two calls. Not bad. One more. We got a record here in Conrad's Corner. What does that tell you about the show's success? Actually, we're actually doing kind of well. But I'll get into that after uh, after this little interview here. But uh, so the last question is... I. I personally want to say I don't feel that this is an issue of numbers, to be honest with you. I think statistics and science can only get you so far. I think that this is somewhat of a, a force that, that Sonia has to channel, the momentum, the inspiration. In fact, uh, the quote, I remember you said that we have too much inspiration and momentum to fail at this point. And just looking at your face, Elizabeth, which, uh, you know, basically is exuberant as always. You're so optimistic. I've heard, Raul, that Sonia is also an excellent spirits too. And I think that that really is the key to getting her well. And she's undergone chemo. I, I think it's been the second round already, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. She's very, very strong. And, and I think that one of the things that's helped her immensely is to see um, the positive response of everyone that's helping her. Um, and the family that's around her and the support system. I don't think, and my mother herself has been through cancer before, and I think that they, they don't, there's no statistic on this, to be honest, but the kind of support that you get from people, um, helping other people in society, especially when it's random strangers, because that just shows and touches you and says that you know there are people out there that are good. That's the kind of motivation that no doctor can provide. It's only us as good human beings um, that can do and make people better. Elizabeth, do you have any final thoughts? Um, again, well, we're part of the Trojan family here at USC, and um, you know we're we we're supposed to look out for each other um, in all areas of our lives. And I just want to to urge the students here at USC to show up for Sonia this Thursday. Um, we'll be here at, at Truesdale from ten to two next next to Tommy Trojan. Um,
be a good Trojan and be the match.